I was entrenched in a war. Oh. For four days. Dug my heels into the microphone. I am not a go to war guy. No. I am not a let's have beef guy. No. I am not a I want to waste my energy on something that doesn't bring me happiness guy. No. But what had happened on the internet this past weekend on my Twitter account and my Instagram, every man has his limits. Yep. I decided I had to go to war with the United States Golf Association <laughs> for trying to kick me off of Twitter for a video that I created, a video that I commentated on, a video that I posted onto my Twitter and Instagram, a video that led me to become the top influencer for the U.S. Open. The biggest golf tournament of the year. And the USGA attempted to ban me from social media. What? I dug my heels and I said, I will not stand for this. Because if you stand for nothing, you will fall for, for anything. For anything. The French said that. Mm -hmm. They didn't say that, actually. Yeah. They just did it. They, yeah, they're the example. <laughs> We should have put an IE before you I said French. IE. The French. The French. Sorry to our French listeners. <laughs> Mercy buckle. I've checked our demographic, not a lot of them. <laughs> Correct. Today, an armistice was signed between myself and the USGA. The USGA reached out to me twice today, letting me know that they had made a mistake that they are very sorry for what had happened, that they are reaching out to Twitter to get the DMCA and the strike off of my record. There we go. They wanted to implore me and ask me to continue right. to make these types of videos, and they are sorry for what had happened and the miscommunication over the weekend. So I would like it to say on the record that I officially am 100% friends with the USGA. Hey, wow. Hey, hey. Look at you. Congrats. I need them. Talk to the, R, to the RNA so that you're able to do these videos for the Open. Yep. We'll see what happens in the future. They were very kind, very nice. They were polite. And I would like to say that all wars come to an end. This one came to a proper ending. Mm -hmm. Two sides met and chatted. They sent their representatives, two of them, to chat with me. We talked it out. We handled it. Everything's good to go, and I am very thankful for the USGA handling it in this situation. Do I think they personally attacked me? Yes. I do. Sure. Mm -hmm. Do I think this ending happens without me publicly going to war? No. No way. So was this all for naught? Absolutely not. I appreciate everybody that listened and tagged USGA. I appreciate everybody that found that video, which was hilarious. You found it hilarious. I'm very thankful for you. And I'm very thankful for the USGA understanding, giving me a call, and straightening things out. We are no longer at odds with the USGA, which is better for everybody. Very thankful for them. Great. Shout out to the USGA. Honestly. Gary Goldman has a joke. I don't remember the exact words, and I can't deliver it anywhere near as good as him. But he said, old people back in the day never complained about anything, so there was never any advancements. They used those shitty phones for so long where they had to... Until one generation came around and was like, this phone sucks. <laughs> and then that made an advancement. And now we have a computer as a phone. Back in the day, computers used to be the size of rooms. And there was never a complaint about how big it was. So they were just like, yeah, we have a computer. It's good. Until a generation came through and started complaining about things that made real changes. I, appreciate, I don't like complaining. I don't like going to war. But if it wasn't for this, I do believe, and it wasn't for you people listening, I don't believe... This relationship I'm about to have with the USGA would ever be possible. So thank you for that. Thank you to the USGA for understanding. 